So I'm using the skew chisel. I'm cleaning up the face. And now I decided why not try to use it for a hollower. And it does a relatively good job. You don't want to do it too often because it will take the uh, fine edge off this skew. So now I've opted to go with the spindle gouge to create the hollow on the bowl portion of that goblet. Then I turn to the skew again just to true up the rim. Readjusted the tool rest. And now I'm going to start shaping the uh, bowl portion of the goblet. Making a number of, or I should say a series of cuts. They're mostly a planing cut. You can see the short point gets into the end grain. So I back it up and nibble away. Just going to reshape the very top portion of that bowl. Nibbling away at that end grain again. And now some peeling cuts to give myself some room. I knew how deep the interior hollow was. So now I'm just going to um, create a little fillet there. Has a little interest. I went to the spindle gouge. Not quite sure why. Now I'm starting to form a bead with the skew. Realizing it was too big, I'm bringing it down. I'm sort of making a V cut. Peeling cuts again to start creating the stem. Yeah. Taking those peeling cuts and moving it up to the bead. And oh my god, look at the size of that thumb. <laughs> yeah, I got quite some thumbs. So if you hadn't guessed, this is a very, um, I think it's a quarter inch skew. and a quarter inch spindle gouge. Now I'm carefully uh, supporting and bringing that planing cut right up to the bead. Now I'm thinking about where I want to start the base I'm using the spindle gouge to make that nice cove into the stem. Realizing the stem is way too heavy I start going back. Yeah, quite a lot of movement there, but I'm cradling. And I decided that bead was still too big. And even though there isn't much support with that very thin stem, if you support that portion, the bowl portion with the cradle with your fingers, sort of create your own steady rest there. Yeah, so this ended up being a 5 8 inch diameter dowel. So the bowl diameter of this goblet is probably around a half inch. And I just measured the length of it, the height of it. It's two inches. So I'm just using a little sandpaper. I think it's 320. So now I realize that the base... Uh, this is a little heavy, and that is the 5 8 inch, so I'm just going ahead with the skew to bring that down a bit. And also taper it. I think it looks good when you do that. Here's my narrow parting tool. And I take a series of cuts with it. Also realizing now that the base itself is a little heavy. Creating that taper again, and now going in with the spindle gouge. I didn't like that curve, but I don't know how much I improved it, quite frankly. Now, establishing the thickness of the base. 
And there you have it. Miniature goblet. Thanks for watching.